Christmas in July, everyone. Uh, this is my second second annual Yankee Candle Christmas in July video. Um, it's where I kind of showcase uh, what I have collected so far that's going to be new for 2019 and talk about what I don't have um, and the information that I can share with you guys from what I know. Um, so, so that's that real quick. Uh, if you want to continue talking about these fragrances, um, head on over to the Candle Enthusiast uh, fan group uh, on Facebook there. I'll put a, a link below there and um, you can all chat uh, and everything. And, um, you know, uh, if you're excited for, for Christmas, I know, I know we just um, got the Halloween previews and we're, we're in the middle of the fall reviews and we're in the middle of the Halloween madness right now, but it is July 25th. We are five months away, yeah, five months away from, uh, from Christmas, my favorite time of the year. Um, hands down, my favorite time of the year there. So uh, I wanted to share these with you there. Uh, I know Bath & Body Works is gonna be doing some kind of review or um, preview unveiling on their Instagram or Facebook account at some point uh, today, uh, July 25th there. Um, Silence from Kringle, uh, not Kringle, um, Homeworks. I know Kringle does have at least one new candle coming out. I believe it's called Tinsel Time uh, or Tinsel End Time, but Tinsel Time, uh, Time smell, uh, spelled like the herb, get it? Tinsel Time. Um, so that's what they have coming out. I don't know if there's another uh, Christmas release from them. Who knows uh, with Kringle? They just dropped that bombshell on us with all the Halloween stuff there. So, so let's get into it. So there are, there's really two collections for, for Christmas and that is the 50th anniversary returning favorite, returning classics they're calling them. And then we have the mountain holiday collection. Now for you folks overseas in the UK and Europe, that's gonna be called the Alpine holiday collection. So here in the States it's called mountain holiday. Uh, or it's Al Alpine Christmas over there, I'm sorry. Um, but it is Mountain Holiday here in the States. So um, that's probably Yankee trying to keep it PC here a little bit. But we'll get into that later or not. Um, so there are probably going to be some core releases in the normal label, which I do have one of those here. But it's kind of a hybrid um, where it goes, has the normal label, but it's also part of that Mountain Holiday collection there. So real quick, I'm gonna run these through you real quick there so you can see what they look like and we'll talk more. So this is Pine Cone and Lime. This is the, um, let's get that out of the way there. Uh, this is the 20, uh, 2010s, right? Is that what we're looking at here? 2010s is when this was originally poured. So we have that. Nice dark green wax, a very, very potent. So I can dim that screen there a little bit. Then we have the Mountain Holiday Collection. And this is after sledding. So you can see we are kicking it, you know, with the, the old larger labels, um, like what we had, and I'll, I'll talk more about that. Um, but we do have the, the silver banner up there. And I can go look there. And here's the third one which is Alpine Mint. This is delicious, by the way. Um, but as you can see, it does have the Alpine or the Mountain Holiday label up there, but has the normal logo label there. Um, which, because I've seen this one in both. So um, let's get into it. So here is um, after sledding. So. Uh, gorgeous label wax color I mean that is uh, they're learning how these labels work and and I think they're going to be giving us these medium size labels um, for these collections going forward so we kind of have that I forget what that's called that's like a, it's like a, a stitching like a snowflake type stitching there reminiscent of um, like an ugly sweater and then we have fresh baked cookies. I'm not sure if you can see that. That is like a flannel mug, flannel, um, I forget what they call those things. Keep, uh, keep your uh, thermos, flannel thermos there uh, with like the hot cocoa down there. And we have like a uh, blanket and we have the red 
single wick wax there. So to compare this label with the labels that we're seeing right now on the farmhouse, you can see they are sort of the same size. Uh, might be a little trick, but I, I think the farmer's market might be a little larger, maybe a little bit larger, but uh, not by much. We have the gold up top and we have the silver here. What's this smell like? Man, this is <sighs> fresh baked cookies with vanilla maple cookies, to be precise. So not the maple, and I did a side-by-side -side comparison. So the maple sugar, um, even though they want you to think this is like a, a maple sugar cookie there, this thing is so sugary sweet when you compare it to the after sledding, it's not even funny. I mean, there is a, a cookie note, a, a sugary butter note, a vanilla going on here. It is just delicious and warm. So warm, uh, inviting, very um, Christmas party, holiday party uh, scent that you can have going in the background there. Um, just really delicious and inviting. So I don't know um, what other formats this one will be in, but I have seen some of the some of the others in the collection come in votives and tea lights. So I'm going to imagine there's going to be a couple jar forms of this. So it's like how we have the farmers market collection. We have uh, small, medium, large jar tumblers. Um, I doubt we're gonna see tarts because tarts are apparently being uh, discontinued going forward there. We'll probably see milk cups in some of them and we'll probably see gel tins in, in some of them there. So uh, the other ones in the collection, I'm not gonna read off Alpine Mint because I'm gonna go over that. But Alpine Morning, um, wake up to a breath of fresh mountain air, uh, flowers and spices and zing of citrus. So that has a really nice um, logo label on there as well. It's uh, two branches and you're looking through through it with, with a mist there. Really nice there. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry, that's a different one. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's brown wax, not and the the evergreen mist. So there's an, there's a uh, alpine morning and evergreen mist. They're similar to that. Candlelit cabin. This is the one that I am probably gonna be the most excited for. Um, the warm glow of candlelight welcomes you to a winter retreat. Rustic pine, warm spices, and earthy notes fill the air. Really, really looking forward to that one. Um, then there's pomegranate gin fizz, which um, I don't know how different that's going to be from the other pomegranate winter Christmas scents that we've had in the past there. But that one reads a sparkling holiday libation. Sweet pomegranate mingles with fresh citrus cranberry. Um, we'll see there. And then there's evergreen mist. This is the one that's in both labels. I've seen that in both labels, as well as the candlelit cabin. So Evergreen Mist is a peaceful walk through a snow-carpeted evergreen forest as the morning sun creates swirls of bracing mist. So I'm thinking uh, it's got the dark green wax. I'm thinking that's going to be a dupe of the, um, in the Winter Wonderland series. Remember they had the Winter Wonderland. Um, it was the green candle. I forget what it was called. It might have actually been called In a Winter Wonderland because they had the whole song or the whole phrase at, at one point there. So I think that will probably be a dupe of that. I'm not so sure, but we'll see. So Alpine Mint, oh my gosh, you guys. So this uh, fragrance, the you know, this uh, wax color, um, last time we've seen this, co this color wax was during the In a Winter Wonderland collection, I believe, and it was Frolic and Play. Uh, which was a just a generic uh, peppermint scent or um, spearmint scent. It was spearmint. So here we have a, um, you know, it is just like a uh, McDonald's shamrock shake uh, <laughs> with dark chocolate on top, and that's kind of how the scent smells. But uh, there we have that in the label. We've, we've been saying this for a few weeks there. They're, they're getting the labels now with these new candles. They're understanding the labels. They are cropping the labels correctly for the U.S. market. Uh, they're probably even making them for the U.S. market first. And then we have the Silver Mountain Holiday Collection. That's single, oh man. 
So this is really like a, a shamrock shake with uh, a dark chocolate drizzle. That the, the picture uh, accurately depicts what I'm picking up on this, which is uh, kind of rare some days, but it's not like a twisted peppermint. It's not like a um, medicinal peppermint, no medicinal in here. It's a, it's a cooling, soothing peppermint, sure, but it's a fruity peppermint. And we have the dark chocolate. <clears throat> that dark chocolate and that mint. Um, I'm trying to think. There's um, like the mint chip ice cream from Bath and Body Works is similar. Um, the, um, not uh, maybe the peppermint brownie from last year is kind of similar. But it's it's really interesting to see Yankee do. Yankee do or something like this. Yankee do. Uh, do or something like this. It's interesting. So the official notes for this. A creamy celebration of fresh mint, dark chocolate, almond, and sweet vanilla. Yeah, I mean the vanilla's mixed in there. I don't really get an almond nuttiness to it. I don't, I don't pick that up uh, at all there. So, so that's that for that collection. Now we're going to head over to the 50th anniversary collection. Where... Uh, I have here pine cone, pine cone, and lime. Uh, I wouldn't really consider this a returning classic. I mean, they could have uh, went further into the vault, and they did with some of these other scents there. But uh, pine cone, <clears throat> pine cone and lime, it's not that old of a candle, um, and it it can easily be found um, at like Home Goods. You know, so can uh, pine cone tassel. Um, during, during the Christmas season there, so. Uh, I maybe would have went a little further back. Um, you know, but uh, who knows, anyhow, I digress. Uh, it's still really good, really good fragrance there, so. Yeah, uh, pine, right, I mean, right off the bat there is that pine note. It is not a pine saw, it is not a cleaner pine, it is a tree pine, pine needle, specifically. And you get that, that lime kind of uh, brightens it up because pine can be very uh, sharp and uh, nauseating per se, like straight pine. Uh, it's not too pleasant. I mean, I, I like pine. There's a difference between pine, balsam, you know, Fraser fir, all those trees there. Um, but this is, this is specifically pine. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, there's not much to it. It's a simple candle, it works. I mean, you guys know what this smells like for the most part. Um, but it, this is a traditional 50th anniversary label there. It's all pine cones um, and limes. And uh, some pine needles and gold there, if you can see that. Yeah, originally poured in a 2010. So like I said, it's not an old, old candle at all. <clears throat> It's very nice though. It's very nice. So, okay, so that's that. The other one's coming back. Bayberry, the original Bayberry, not Holiday Bayberry, which I love. Not Williamsburg, Williamsburg Bayberry, which I also love. But this is the original, original Bayberry from the '70s, which I have never smelled before. So, you guys know me. I love my Bayberries, and I have my fond memories of Bayberry candles there. So, let's see. Um, these next two, these next three, have been out for the past few years. Uh, and one's like a every, red berry and cedar. Um, that's like online all the time, I think. So, uh, okay. Um, Sugar Plums, that's been a returning favorite for the past five years. And Christmas Wish, uh, that new formula is horrible. So hopefully they bring back the old formula, which was a unique combination of balsam fur and sugar cookies. This new one is just like sugar cookies. And then uh, the other one, which is, varies from last year's balsam forest, is balsam fur. So balsam fur, balsam forest, two different ones. So balsam fur. Uh, we'll see. Balsam forest was kind of a dud as far as uh, throw wise. It was pretty pathetic, but. We're in 2019, these are all 2019 pours. And what do we know about 2019 Yankee Candle is that they are turning it around, uh, it appears to be. So 
let's let's hope they they stay on that track and um they will have lots and lots of satisfied customers so that's all i can say for that this is a long video um <laughs> halloween it's out there um we're a month away exactly a month away to the halloween party um so i'll have more exciting news closer to the time of the halloween party um i hope so all right guys so thanks for watching that's what i have for you right now and uh, i'll see you all real soon so have a good one